which is essentially what's happening here. Mark, who, who has disappeared when he starts having to go to the glazers so well, To be fair, the, looking at Mark Oggy's shot, it was best that he left. <laughs> <laughs> looking at his camera shot, yeah, it was best that he left. That's fair enough. Ali, you're the only one going for a PSG win. I suppose that I'm the only one who's been watching Dortmund play every single week since we have oh. to keep a very close eye on it. And let me just tell you. Oh. We know Champions League Dortmund's <laughs> very different to yeah. uh, exactly. yeah. your Dortmund. Yeah, uh, yes, but it's hard. It's hard to separate the two when you watch this team defend or in the case of what is a Dortmund, not defend. It, it, this is a team that has so many difficulties in transition, and I just don't like the matchups of anybody who plays in that back line in a 1v1 situation against Kylian Mbappe. Eventually, Mbappe, I think, comes up too big for PSG, and Dortmund just simply can't keep up. Uh, what do you think, Jan? I'm not 100% agree uh, with you, Al. Uh, I, I, I can see what you're saying and why you're saying that, but it's quite interesting at Dortmund at the moment when they, when they come into Champions League, it's like Terzic will go into the direction of, OK, Thank you to the Bundesliga team. You can go with the second team uh, on the other <laughs> ground. Uh, here is the Champions League team coming in because they've been good there. But as Ali is saying, when, when you saw the sprint of Mats Hummels when he got sent off at the weekend, you're thinking Mbappé can kind of run around him uh, when you do that. Uh, uh, Sule doesn't look uh, there as well. Schlotterbeck, I mean, how he was tricked out by Paulsen uh, uh, against Leipzig. I mean, I've never seen something like that on that level ever before. I've saw it maybe in a, one of these Legends games uh, once. So Mbappé must look forward to this. He will, he will kind of look where the match ball will be delivered after the game if they play like that. But I still, I still will give them the, 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 the possibility to do a great game because it's still uh, it's, it's in Dortmund. Uh, 80,000, yellow wall. They have to get revenge from the last game they had against Leipzig and so on and so on. So, so I think that this could at least get a draw for them. They have been doing very well and they're already true. We, ha we have to mention that as well. Yeah, very much so. So, How, how, can, we, how can we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just what slow, are you going to say? Well, slow down. Mm -hmm. Take a breath. What do you mean, slow down? Slow down. I'm moving you're off, on. You're off, like a, you're off like a train every time. <laughs> what do you mean? I feel like we've done enough on this subject if now. St James's Park, if it's all about a crowd... At, at Borussia Dortmund in St James's Park, what's what the hell's happening at Old Trafford? <laughs> what? Why did you get this back to Manchester United? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you interrupted me for. Oh, but how come the crowd's not? Oh, moving? How come the crowd's not? Pearly, you started today. Look, let's get this done. I'm going to get back but to how, the dogs. How come the crowd interrupted oh, me for this? I've, I've heard two arguments about how the crowd's going to push them. Right. How the crowd's? How come the crowd? It's not pushing Man United. But we're not talking about Man United. We but spent 20 minutes on it, and you said Manchester United bought your pants off. <laughs> yeah, but I found an avenue to get back there. I just with his pants on. Yeah. Oh, with the pants God. on. Bro. If PSG win against Dortmund, then they are through. However, if they don't, going? then that does open the door certainly to Newcastle if they win against Milan. Or if PSG lose and Milan get the victory, then it will be Milan who will go through. PSG will have to make do with the Europa League.